After being away from America for several decades, the Toyota Crown brand has finally come back. Even though it is meant to replace the Avalon, which is no longer made, it is not a typical sedan. Instead, the 2023 Crown is a mix of a car and an SUV. This may be an attempt to make it more appealing to people who aren't interested in full-size sedans, whose sales are falling. Welcome to FAM and let's discuss the all-new Toyota Crown series in this video. Before we do so, please like this video at the end and subscribe to the channel. Also make sure the notifications bell icon is on so you know the second we post another video. Let's get started now. With its higher driving position and three-box design, the Crown fills a market niche that was once filled by raised sedans like the Subaru Legacy SUS and the Volvo S60 Cross Country. Even though there were rumors that a plug-in hybrid and an electric vehicle model would be available, the 2023 Crown will come out with two conventional hybrid powertrains. The basic car has a tried-and-true design with a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine, three electric motors, and a continuously variable automatic transmission CVT. CVT. The most expensive Platinum model has a special hybrid max powertrain with a turbocharged 2.4-liter four-cylinder engine and an electric motor mounted on the back axle. Together, they can make 340 horsepower. The Crown has a strange body shape and a striking look. It also seems to have a roomy interior with high-end features. The Toyota Crown comes with a lot of technologies that help the driver and technologies that make the ride fun. All Crown models have this feature built in. So, let's now discuss how it works, what kind of engine it has, and how it moves. The Toyota Crown comes standard with a hybrid drivetrain, but Toyota's new hybrid MAX system can only be added to the top-of-the-line Platinum model. This system uses a turbocharged 2.4-liter four-cylinder engine and a 340-horsepower electric motor mounted on the rear axle. Both the XLE and the Limited models have a hybrid drivetrain with 236 horsepower, a 2.5-liter inline-four engine, and three electric motors power this system. All models come with all-wheel drive as standard, and the XLE and Limited models have a continuously variable automatic transmission CVT, while the Platinum model has a six-speed automatic transmission. Toyota says that the suspension was made to make the ride comfortable, but we don't think the Crown will be very good in corners. But the Platinum model does come with dampers that can be changed. Let's take a look at the economy on fuel and actual miles per gallon that the Toyota new car uses. Even though the EPA hasn't released its results yet, Toyota thinks that a Crown with a standard hybrid powertrain will get up to 38 miles per gallon. People say that the Platinum model's more powerful hybrid max powertrain will get about 28 miles per gallon. As soon as we can, we'll test the Crown's gas mileage on the highway at 7 to 5 miles per hour, and we'll post the results here. Now, we should go to the next segment of our video, where we will talk about cargo space, the way the inside looks, and the features. The Crown's cabin has a feeling that fits with its high status. Drivers can expect a step up when they trade in their Avalon sedans, especially if they buy a limited or platinum model. Due to its higher driving position, which is more like that of a compact SUV than that of a sedan, the Crown could be a good alternative to full-size sedans that stick to the more traditional design formula. Every model comes with front seats that can be adjusted electronically in eight different ways and have heating, automatic climate control for two separate zones, and ambient lighting throughout the cabin. The limited and platinum trim levels have extra features like leather seats, a panoramic sunroof, and a sunroof that goes all the way around the car. The Crown's body looks like a fastback sedan, but the cladding around the wheel openings and the bottom of the body gives it some SUV-like features. It's not even close to being ready for the trail. It's just a regular car in terms of height and ground clearance. Even though the high roof is a little off-putting, the design is almost beautiful when seen from the well-shaped sides. On the other hand, the front of the car has a wide grille that looks a bit like the front of a Toyota Venza, except that it is a bit too big. The new Crown looks like a raised sedan because it sits four inches higher than the Camry and has the same roofline. 
This is similar to how the first Benza looked like a raised wagon. Inside, the crown is more elegant than its old hotel, the Adelin, which it replaced. To make the inside of every crown as quiet as possible, engineers tried to block sound paths around door frames, window openings, wiring harnesses, and other places. Between the engine and the cabin of every crown is a piece of sound-absorbing glass and a pad. The crown is the start of not one but two hybrid systems for Toyota. The most important of these is the brand new hybrid MAG system, which is in the highest trim level and strikes a good balance between power and fuel economy. It has an engine in the front, an engine in the back, and a 2.4-liter turbo 4 engine. This setup makes 340 horsepower and has all-wheel drive that can be turned on and off as needed. The torque can be changed between a 70 over 30 front bias and an 80 over 20 rear bias. It sends the power through a direct shift transmission that has six gears and paddles on the steering wheel that can be used to choose any one of them. Toyota says that this powertrain will get a combined 28 miles per gallon and will take 5.9 seconds to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour. The next generation Toyota hybrid system is installed in the two higher grades of the Crown, THS. With a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine and motors in the front and back, the car has 236 horsepower, all-wheel drive, and an estimated 38 miles per gallon fuel economy for the whole car. In this situation, the amount of torque going to the front and back can range from 100% to 0% or from 20% to 80%. Cars that have THS can be driven in four different ways – Eco, Normal, Sport, and EV with the electric vehicle mode. You can drive on electric power for short periods at low speeds. Crowns with the hybrid max powertrain can't use the electric vehicle mode, but they can use the Sport Plus, Comfort, and Custom settings. The Toyota Crown was built on the Toyota New Global Architecture K, TNGAK, which is also used for cars and crossovers. In the front, it has a Macpherson strut, and in the back, it has a multi-link independent suspension. How much does it cost to buy a Toyota Crown in the year 2023? The Crown will come in three different trim levels, the XLE, the Limited, and the Platinum. We don't know the price yet, but we do know that the XLE comes standard with 19-inch alloy wheels, 8-way power front seats, a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster a 12.3-inch infotainment touchscreen that can get updates over the air, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, navigation, wireless smartphone charging, USB, a ports and USB-C ports, and the ability to get updates over the air. The XLE model's interior is made of cloth and fake suede, while the Limited and Platinum model's interiors are made of leather. The Limited and Platinum models also have a panoramic sunroof, an 11-speaker JBL audio system, and 19-inch wheels. The Platinum model also has front seats that can be cooled, a camera system with a 360-degree view, a digital key dampers that can be changed, and 21-inch wheels. With the addition of an advanced tech package, the Limited can also get a 21. Automatic emergency braking with pedestrian and cross-traffic detection, adaptive cruise control, active lane control, automatic high beams, road sign recognition, blind spot monitors, rear cross-traffic alerts, and a rear seat reminder system are all standard on the Toyota Crown. There are also automatic high beams and automatic low beams, as well as a system that can read road signs. The Platinum also has a system that helps with parking. Toyota has only said that it will be out before the end of this year. They haven't said how much it will cost or given a full list of specs. Thanks for watching this video. That was all from our side.